Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be setting up a brand new TP-Link router. And the model of this is AX1800. And also, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a port forwarding for your PlayStation 5. Let's take a look at the router. So here's the router. It comes with four antennas. And if you take a look at the site here, this is your power um, power cable, the power button for turning on and off your router. Here is the WAN, which is for your internet service provider. So if you're paying the internet service like Spectrum, the monthly for the internet, this white cable, or it could be a different color cable, should be connected to the blue port okay so again the blue port is for the internet service provider cable from the modem into your router the orange port here is actually for your local devices that would be like for your computer like desktop laptops maybe for your tv maybe for your um security camera network, things like that. So the orange port here is for your local devices to be plugged in. And the blue one here is coming um, from the internet service provider. Here is the LED light turning on and off, the reset switch, and the WPS Wi-Fi button here. All right. So once you have all this connected, so the internet goes in here and the blue cable goes into my laptop. So I'll be using the laptop to configure the router and this blue cable is connected to my laptop. So let me switch the uh, screen here so you can take a look. All right, so here is the laptop. I'll be configuring the TP-Link router. Um, I'll be using Microsoft Edge, the browser to do the configuration. You can use Chrome if you like or Firefox. Once you open up the browser, the first thing I like to do is to go to tplinkwifi.net. Here, it will bring you to set up the uh, password because this is a new router. You need to put in a password for the router. And let's go ahead and do that. All right, once you put in the password, repeat the same password, click let's get started. It's very simple. Select your time zone. I'll be selecting Hawaii. Click next. And by default, it should be dynamic IP address. 90% of us, almost 99% of us um, in the resident residential area will be using a dynamic IP address. This dynamic meaning that it's automatic IP address given by the internet service provider. Um, unless if you're in a commercial or business, you may have to click on static IP address. If you're not sure to find out what it is, you can always call your internet provider. But 99% of you guys out there more likely would be the dynamic IP. All right. So the next click next. By default, you will pick up the MAC address from the modem. So you can just click next for now. Here it says personalized wireless settings. Do we want to have the smart connect enable? Yeah, sure. Wireless radio enable? Sure. This is the network name, SSID. If you want to change uh, your Wi-Fi name, you can go ahead and type it in. And this is the password for your Wi-Fi. For my case, I'll be using the default settings. I'm just going to click next is doing the connection test.
All right, so it says keep your router updated. Just click next for now. It asks you to update update the firmware. Uh, you should click update, but in this video purpose, I'm just going to skip for now. It may take some time to update the firmware. Um, but yeah, I'll skip it for my purpose. All right, pretty much it says success. Um, these are the settings. Make sure you write it down so that you remember your Wi-Fi name and a password. So click next. Here it says get TP-Link cloud service. We are not getting any cloud service. You can just skip it for now. At this page here, you are at the dashboard of your router, meaning that this is the control panel where you can see what is happening in your router. You have the internet with a check mark on it. That means you're getting the internet, shooting to your router. Your router here is broadcasting the Wi-Fi and number of devices are connected to the router. So for my case, I only have one device is connected, which is my laptop here. So it says the laptop information. This is what is connected. Um, you should have multiple device uh, to be connected. But for me, it's just one laptop for now. All right. So this is pretty much very straightforward. You have your um, router being set up. You have your Wi-Fi set up as well with the password. So pretty much you're all good to go. All right, so the next step I'd like to do is to walk you through on how to do a port forwarding for your PlayStation 5. Again, I assume that the router is all set up. The next step you'd like to do is go ahead and double click the browser. On the top, go ahead and type in tp-link wifi.net. It will bring you to the login page and this login page Go ahead and put in your router password to get in. We need to get to the control panel or the dashboard. So this is the, uh, it says firmware available for update. I'm just going to say not now. Remind me later. All right. So at this page, um, make sure that you can see your PlayStation 5. Again, I don't have my PlayStation, so you're not able to see it. But for your case, you should be able to see your PlayStation 5 here. And on the top right, this little advanced icon, just go ahead and click on that. And what we would like to do is to scroll down where you say net forwarding. Click on net forwarding. And this is the port forwarding that we like to configure to set up for your PlayStation 5. Go ahead and click add. Here, we like to name, just give it a name for the port that we are opening up. I'll be naming PS PlayStation 5. All right. And the port that we're going to try to open is 1935. Under device IP address, you want to click view connected devices. Here, you should see multiple devices being connected to your router, like your iPhone, iPads computers, TV, and whatnot. So look for the one that says PlayStation 5. If you're not too sure where to look for it, you want to follow the MAC address. So here it says F430B9D946B9. This is the MAC address. MAC address meaning that it belongs to that device. So if you're not sure, go to your PlayStation 5, go to settings, go to network, and look for the MAC address. Make sure you match the MAC address with the uh, with the display on, on, on your PlayStation here. So for my case, I'm just going to assume this is my PlayStation 5. I go ahead and select it. And here is the port that we need to open. 1935. Internal port is the same number. 1935. Protocol. You can do all because we are doing all of the TCP and the UDP for this port, 1935. Click Save. All right, so this is added. We need to add a couple more. So go ahead and click Add. Service name, we'll be adding 3074. 
that is the port that we need to add again click on view connected devices select your playstation 5 and the external port is 30 74 internal port is 30 74 and protocol i'll just leave it all for the tcp and udp click save operation succeeded we need to add a couple more here so we click add this is the range i wonder if this tp allows you to do the range i noticed that the other older firmware it does not allow you to do the range on this tp router but hopefully this one does we're gonna have to find out right now so the range for this is 3470a until 3480 right so that means there's a range from 78 79 80 right so if it doesn't allow us to do the range we can just edit manually one by one okay go ahead and select the playstation 5 again the external port 3478 range 3480 hopefully that would work internal port 3478 range 3480 and we're going to have both of them oh it says invalid format all right so um that i guess this tp link does not allow you to do the range so we got to add it one at a time i apologize i think you guys should file a complaint or raise the concern why the tp link does not allow you to do the range for port forwarding so that's not a big deal because the number is just 78, 3478, 3479, and 3480. Just a range from 78 to 80. We just have to add it individually. All right. Okay. So move on. We want it to be TCP and UDP. So we select all and click save. So we added 78. We need to add 79. Yes, 5. 3479 click on the PlayStation 5 3479 3479 and click save at one again this would be the last one PS5 3480 select the PS5 3480 3480 and click save all right pretty much we are done we have opened all the ports that are recommended to uh for playstation 5 uh, these are all the numbers and these are all the ports and um and i hope that this helped so if this video is helpful please go ahead and click like subscribe to the channel if you haven't i really appreciate you for doing that um if you have any question comment below and I'd like to hear from you. Take care now. Bye.